Good morning. Good morning. Um, I am so excited to uh, do this video today with you. So I wanted to show you something that um, I have received over the weekend. So I went to the masterclass, Rose Ink Masterclass, which is the makeup uh, class um, with uh, Rose Huntington and uh, two makeup artists, Mark Regan and Sam Weiser. So this was actually yesterday. So I went to this masterclass. I'll give you the details. I'll give you the details of how much everything cost. Excuse me. Sorry. Caught on camera. Um, I'll give you the prices on how much everything costs. Um, my view, my feedback, my, my experience on the whole thing. And um, I'll actually compare with the other class as well. The class that I did with um, NARS on Friday night. So this was yesterday, Saturday the 8th. November 8th and then um, the day before I was able to do a kind of a small master class with NARS and a beauty school that's a local beauty school in New York City. Excuse my heater if you hear it in the background. Um, it's kind of cold in New York City so they put the heat on. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll take everything out and as I take everything I'm going to take this out and as I take everything out I'm going to show you what's inside and I'll talk about these as well. I'll talk about these um, coupons and everything else that's inside. So everything comes, let me put this aside. Everything comes in this bag and it's a nice material. It feels like a, uh, a very sturdy, uh, I would say jeans material, but it's a color red. If you take a look, um, it's somewhat very close to, uh, to my red color nails. Um, or even kind of like burgundy maybe, but um, I, I, yeah, it looks like it's more red on the video, but it actually a little bit more burgundy, kind of like a wine color. Um, so the, you, you get this bag, nice handles, nice thick handles, as you can see, you get this bag, they, they had a nice setup, they had a, um, like ghost chairs, and then on each ghost chair, they would have this, and then they would have a bottle of water underneath the chair. So, I, like I mentioned before, I'm going to be taking everything out one by one and I'll show you what's inside the bag. I, I have to say, I'm going to just take this out and show you, well, let's go ahead and show each one and then I'll give you my feedback on the whole experience. So the first item is Bioderma and this is a makeup removing solution. Um, very nice, heavy bottle. This is 500 millimeters. Um, this is actually really nice. I tried this yesterday. I never bought this. I did hear good things about this and I tried this yesterday and... I tried the Lancome, I did a review of this holiday box, a limited edition where Lancome had um, uh, an eye, um, eye makeup remover, like their regular, you know that regular bottle, like that blue bottle um, with the white cap, and I was not happy with it, I knew this, I mean I've had them before, but I was not happy with it, it was just, it, it did a lot of mess, but it would not take out uh, as good of makeup um uh, eye makeup that I wanted it to. This was actually wonderful. I tried this yesterday and it got a little bit in my eyes and it was a little bit uncomfortable, but it did the job. It did the job. It did a wonderful um, work. It cleaned out everything nicely. I did go over, I love my Clinique. I did my uh, Clinique cleanser, uh, just a regular cleanser, face cleanser. And it just washed away everything nicely. Uh, I I was a little bit, it says sensitive skin, right? This is water for sensitive skin. I did feel a little tingle in my eyes, which I normally don't feel with my Clinique cleanser. So Clinique cleanser is still my favorite. But if you have this, it's a nice way to to go over all your, all your face. And then you can just wash off. I usually don't do one step anyways. I always do a, a repeat. So this is a wonderful um, thing to have since I already have it, since I received it in the baggie. Uh, I would go, do this and then I would go over anything else. I would go over with my uh, Clinique cleanser. But I think this, is, this did a, a wonderful job with it. And um, now I have this. So I'm very excited. I'll be using this very often. The next item that I received, I, and by the way, I, I don't use waterproof if this matters to anybody. I do not use waterproof mascara. I do not like them. Uh, I don't, I just don't enjoy them. So I don't use waterproof mascara. So maybe that's why it did such a wonderful job. If you have waterproof items, please let me know. Um, did it take off the same way? Did it not? Like, I'm just curious. Let me know. And, and um, just curious and for other people just to know, does, does this work on waterproof? Because again, I, I don't use waterproof 
anything. I, I just don't like it. It's too heavy on my skin. The next item is a T3 smooth paddle brush. And I was really excited about this. Um, I, I've seen the products. I've seen the products. And there's also a coupon, by the way. A 20% coupon from the same company, T3. Um, I've always seen the products. I've never purchased them just because they're a little bit on the expensive side. But I'm really excited about this. And I'm actually keeping this. Let me open this up. And I'll show you the paddle brush. I actually really nice. Uh, like, I really like this. It's a nice, clean look. White brush. Um, very pu very pretty. It's very pretty. I've not, I have not tried to use this. I did smell it. It has a little bit of a... Um, it has a little bit of a um, plastic smell, like a new item smell. So I'm very happy about this item. And by the way, I did, um, what I'll do is at the end of the video, I did add everything up. I'll tell you a little bit um, what they promised, what you're supposed to get, just so you get an idea. So I, I did have all the prices for them and I'll add them up together. But this, the water, the Bioderma water was $14.15. Uh, it was $14.90, so $15. The, 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 the brush was if i'm not mistaken it was 35 dollars. yes it was 35 dollars. the brush is 35 let me switch these so that everything will get into the um into the monitor i'll set this aside for now here let's move on to the next one and the next item is a slip scrunchies so these are a, a set of three large scrunchies um that you get pink uh i would say beige or nude and the black one I'm not going to be using these. I'm not big on scrunches. Um, I use clips. They're better. Uh, I just don't want to scrunch my hair. If I put my hair, it's in a ponytail. I'm not using these. I just, I, I've, I've, I was raised during the nineties. I'm kind of over this. I, and I, I don't want to bring it back. I actually don't. So I'll be, I'll be giving those away to one of my friends. I not excited, but it's a nice, um, nice gift for somebody. It's a nice packaging. Very pretty. Very beautiful. The color is actually very pretty. So if I would, uh, would ever get like a, a silk pillowcase, I would either get the nude or the pink because the colors are very pretty. And the slip scrunches are $20. So this pack right here, if you would purchase this in Sephora or anywhere else, this will cost you $20. Next one. Next one is a um, Lebon. Lebon. Sorry if I mispronounce it. This is a organic toothpaste. This is made in France. I'm actually kind of excited about this. Um, I don't buy organic toothpaste. Uh, I just use regular or I use, uh, I think it's Colgate whitening, like in the red bottle. Um, so this is very exciting. I, I actually tried this yesterday and it gave me like an interesting feeling. Um, again, my first time trying organic and it gave me a little uh, interesting taste on the mouth. Uh, I like the flavor. This is mint. It was not licorice, licorice mint. It was not overbearing. It, it was just a nice, I was afraid that it was be a little bit too much, but it wasn't. Um, I, let me open this because I did use this. I, did, I put this back because I wanted to show you, but I did use this yesterday. Very pretty bottle, very kind of unique, uh, very pretty bottle. So I use this. I don't think I would buy this. This is going to last me for a long time just because um, I will continue to use my whitening uh, toothpaste and I will just oh, kind of switch. I'll do the whitening maybe after I eat or for the night and then I'll use these um, in between kind of. So yay, very excited about this. Um, again, I would not buy this on my own, but, um, it's a nice thing to try. The next item is the Touchland Power Mist Sanitizer. So this was interesting. I did not open this baby. I do have a few people that actually tried it and some of them like it. Some of them do not. What I heard is that, and I'm not trying this, I'm going to give this away, um, I have plenty of sanitizers and I prefer like lavender smell or jasmine, um, but I, I, by the way, I try not to use anything that has a smell. So like body, body lotions, creams, uh, hand lotions, hand creams. I prefer not to, um, not to have the smell on them or it's flavor just because, um, I, I have a signature smell and I think it would just overlap a little bit too much. So 
I'm going to give this away. It's an interesting setup. It's a nice color. It pops. It looks very stylish. I think that's the catch here is the fact that it looks very nice and very stylish. I did hear, FYI, just a few people tell me that uh, it leaks. So if you put it in a bag, make sure that it's protected, maybe like in a baggie or like in a Ziploc or a separate bag because somebody said that, yes, it does leak. I don't know. I wouldn't be able to tell you. Sorry. But it's a nice... You, a nice package. It's a nice looking package. The next item is the Akiz um, turban. It's a rapid dry hair turban. And I've had this before. I love these. I have a towel. I have a turban. I have a different color. I think it's a white. So, um, and you have a little um, hair kind of um, rubber band uh, for the hair. I love these. They do work. They're fantastic. Um, I think you can buy them cheaper. By the way, I did not mention the sanitizer is $12 and the toothpaste. Let me see how much the toothpaste is. The toothpaste is $21. So $21 and $12. Um, the turban. So let's go ahead and continue with the turban. The turban is a nice turban. Um, it works. It does, it, it does magic. It dries fast. It dries your hair fast. It's beautiful. I cannot say, um, I cannot stop saying good things about these because these I love these. I use these on my own. Um, so I have now another one that I can use when my go bad or like switch it out between the the, the laundry. Um, the the turban is actually thirty dollars. So the turban is thirty dollars. Let's go ahead and continue on with the next one. And the next item is true botanics resurfacing moisture mask and i actually um tried this yesterday for you guys i put this on you're supposed to put this for two to five minutes and let it sit just a very nice small layer and let it sit and then you have to you're supposed to see the results i actually did not like this it's very watery if you see it kind of runs everywhere it's so you need just a little they ask for a small layer of it I did not like this. I did not. It kind of has a, a, a strong smell. If you like it, then good. If not, it has a little bit of a strong smell. Um, I did not enjoy this. It did not really do anything for me. I washed it off. I had a little bit of a stickiness to my face after this. I do know some people like it. Some people don't. So it doesn't work for everybody. It is a nice company. Uh, their other products are really nice. But um, this did not work for me, unfortunately. So um, I'm just going to give this to one of my friends who actually likes it or maybe it works for her but it did not really do anything for me by the way this is very expensive and uh this is 65 dollars for this bottle just for that bottle it's a regular size bottle and it's 65 dollars the next item is an uh, angela uh goglia and this is an eye treatment rose quartz eye treatment and I actually have something similar so i'm not gonna be oops i'm not gonna be using this i'll pick that up later i'm not gonna be using these i'm gonna be giving these away something's got caught here okay we'll fix that later and all it is is these two quartz parts that you use on your eyes and i actually use this on all my whole face i just don't use this on the eyes i have one i don't have to i don't need to you don't really need to you're not gonna sit and do it uh, simultaneously but oh you can but I don't do it I just do one side and then I finish with the other one this will fit your jawbone or around your cheeks or your forehead so these are very nice you can cool them off and they're cold and it's nice to the touch when you put them on your face um, this would be a nice gift um, I'm not gonna be using these because I already bought one I already have my own if I would have known I would have gone to this master class I would have saved my money and just gotten this and not even pay separately to what I purchased recently so this is $65 so this set of two is $65 I like them I really do this is like a home facial home massage and what I do is I use uh, um, uh, vitamin C cream or any kind of um, facial oil that you have, you just put that on and you just massage the face with these little quartz um, items. The next item is Kai, hope I said it right, hand cream with the rose smell. I did want to try this yesterday, but I forgot. It was already late and I did not do everything I wanted to do. So let me open this and I'm going to try this right in front of you just to see how it smells. 
So let me just put this down just a little. Clean this up. I actually wanted to try this for the longest. Um, I've never just got a, gotten around to, to actually buying it. Um, let me try this. Let me spread it out on two hands. And I'll tell you how. So mine is rose. It's white. It's not pink. It's white. Um, but it just has a smell of a rose. So it does smell like a rose. So I just put this on here. Um, it's really soft. I like the feeling of it. It's not sticky. And I'll just give it a few minutes while I talk about it. So I actually like this. I've always wanted to try this. It does smell like a rose. Uh, like uh, you smelling a, a, a baby pink rose bush or something. It's really nice. Um, and it's not actually, it's not sticky. I just, I just did this and it already, maybe my skin is dry and it is, especially in the winter, but I actually love the material. I love how it feels. I love the texture. It's not sticky. It's not like gel. It's already, it's already went in and you can't even feel anything. It's like baby soft skin. So I love this. This is going to be my favorite. I always wanted to get one and now I do. And this one is $21. Let's move on. The next item is the Hourglass Caution Mascara. And I know people have um, mixed reviews about this. Some people love it. Some people don't. Some people are like, ugh, it clumps. I have not tried this just yet. I like the, let me just show you the, the packaging. I like the packaging. So it has like a triangle shape to it. Three sides. Very pretty. Very unusual. Right? Let me open this up. And see... I actually like this. I don't know how it's going to work putting this on. Let me just focus, focus, focus. Come on. Focus, focus. Okay, maybe not. Maybe at some point. But I actually like this. I like the brush. I like the look. I like how it looks. And it doesn't look like it's dry. Some people said that it might be dry or something. It looks nice. I'm actually happy with this. I have a mascara now, one more, and I'm going to report back if I like it, if I don't like it, when I try to actually using it. But this is a nice material, and again, it's, um, how much is this? This is, where are you, mascara, mascara, mascara. This is $29, so really good, $29. Let me put this aside, and on to the next one. The next item, and it, this is a Is Clinical Lip Duo. And this is one of the fancy items. You might see like little streaks of my fingers because my fingers were already oiled up. Um, this is actually really nice. I tried this yesterday. It's very expensive. This item, I would never buy this on my own just because it's so luxurious. Um, and when I looked this up yesterday, this was $85. $85. Let me show you what's inside. I actually tried this yesterday just to give you, just to report back to you. So you get a bottle. You get a nice packaging, a little writing you get a first you get a pen which is the uh the youth lip elixir and then you have in here you have a tiny little packaging is really nice packaging is really expensive looks really nice um and then inside i'm not even gonna pack this because you never can pack it back together as you normally would you have a little bottle this is the polish I'll open it just to show you it's it's a polish and then you get so it's a two-step it's a polish and you get a uh, like a lip moisturizer uh, like a pen and let me open this up for you so again it's $85 kind of expensive you know not everybody will be able to afford this um, but let me just move this down just a little bit so that everything can fit in in the screen at the end of the video let me move this down so it is a little bit on the expensive side. I get it. I agree a little bit too much, but it is what it is. You know, um, let me show you. Okay. So there you go. Would not focus, huh? So I tried this yesterday. Has a little nice opening. Let me open this carefully. I don't know if you can see the, the texture, but it's kind of like a, a wet sugar. It looks like wet, wet sugar. Let me, it might be focused if I do it too close. Too. No. 
okay might be here if you can see like little grains so you put this on you put this on your lips you scrub you scrub you scrub you can use like a, a toothbrush or your fingers because it already has little grains that that would exfoliate the skin on the lips you put this on it's a tiny little bottle as you can see and then when you finish you wash it off and you put this on and this is like a um oh a little came out let me put that on my lips now if you can see that um like an applicator it's a silicone applicator it bends let me put this on so it doesn't go to waste i'm gonna put this on now on my lips okay i'm done okay so what you do is i don't know if you ever had those um crayons or those concealers especially dior has those where you twist the bottom and it opens up and it comes up on here so in reality you only have somewhere about this much of the um the cream inside and then this is the twisty and then nothing here really so i tried this yesterday and i put this on on on, on overnight it does feel nice i have to say for 85 dollars, yes it does the job it my my when it, i i felt two different sensations so when i did this i felt a little tingle and like my lips got redder and they were not that they were burning it wasn't like an unpleasant thing i actually don't like lip plumpers because i don't like how they make you feel right it's like they doing something to your lips this actually you because you you exfoliate it you know it does rub the skin a little bit so it kind of you know agitates it you, you could say so i did like the tingle after this and then when i let me put this aside and then when i did this one it felt very smooth a little sticky but you're doing it overnight right anyways doesn't matter it did feel a little sticky on the lips but at, in the morning when i woke up my lips felt very very soft now I do have to say, if you don't have the money, I would. I don't know if I would ever buy this for eighty-five dollars. So this little thing and this pen, I don't know if I would ever buy this. So what you can do is, if you don't want to spend the money, there's you can either make your own DIY. You can um, take sugar, you can take honey, and you can do the same thing. Honey is amazing. Um, if you can use honey for everything, anything. And honey does not have an expiration date. So you can combine honey and sugar and you can kind of have the grainy parts and you can exfoliate the same way. It, it will be a little bit sticky, so you'll have to wash it off like anything else. Um, but it feels nice and honey is already natural item. So you, don't, you, you know what you're putting on your face. Now, if you don't want to get messy and, and do the honey and do this and that, um, I have another... Um, solution for you and i have this i actually bought this a while back this is elf lip exfoliator and it looks like a, just a regular lipstick but it has a little i don't know if you could see this this is a new one i couldn't find the one that i used before okay here you go so if you have see little tiny particles it will actually exfoliate your skin on the lips so what you do is you put it on back and forth back and forth i don't like to put it back and forth i just put one line and then i use a toothbrush and i exfoliate my lips this is actually does a wonderful job same thing it, it does the same thing as as this little bottle here but it, it definitely less expensive definitely less expensive it still looks nice like a like a little lip lipstick on your vanity again honey and sugar is the cheapest at home it's natural if you don't want to do that you can always go with this exfoliator by elf it does a very nice job less cleaning up you don't have to get messy with the honey and the stickiness and everything else and then what i do after that exfoliator with elf i do and these are mine i'm gonna take them out of the video just because i don't want you to get confused these are mine and then what i do is i put an overnight um neosporin renewal therapy so i love this yes it's neosporin you might be familiar with neosporin because of their uh, products for the pain reliever or for um you know kind of putting it on the cut or on the boo-boo i love using these because and i use this actually on the night like when i go to sleep or sometimes i use it um when I go out, cold weather, chilly weather, windy, I put this on. It actually gives you a nice little tint 
it's white, it's clear. Well, not clear, it's white. It's white. But what I when I put this on my skin, on my lips, it actually gives me a little bit of this nice color that comes out. I don't know if it's my pH that kind of works with it and brings it out, but it gives me a nice look. And I love this. And when you wake up, first of all, it heals. If you have cracks, it, it fixes it up. You don't have to have issues with the lips. And then on top of it, they make them so soft. And again, the pricing of these two will not compare to these two. So this is $85. Yes, it's fancy. It's beautiful if you are able to afford it. If not, you can get either honey and sugar, which is almost free. And then you can either get this or something else or like olive oil. You can do that as well. Or uh, Vaseline. I know some people do that. I use these two and I love this. And again, this may be, I, I don't even remember how much I bought, but I'm pretty sure it's less than $10. And then this is less than $10. So it's less than $20 for these two compared to $85. Let, let's move on. I don't want to keep this a long video and I'm almost done. And this is Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. I don't use sunscreen. I know I'm bad. I should not even admit that. But um, nice. It's a nice thing. I've never tried it. It's SPF 40. I never use that high um, even on my face. Um, so it's a nice sunscreen. I'm sure it's going to go to somebody good. Uh, and they're going to get to enjoy this. And this is a Jin Sun. I hope I said it right. And this is Obsidian. A nice black color, but with a little, little, little sparkle. He got on a beautiful color. It's actually a very nice color. So it's a nail polish. So this is it. And I don't think I mentioned the sunscreen is $32. Sunscreen is $32. And this is $18. So let me set this aside. I'll put this here. And then again, you have the little baggie. You have the little baggie. Let me put the baggie here. So you have it. There you go. Okay. Uh, in this, you get a few coupons. And you get... Sorry, you, you have to see my shoulder. So you get an hourglass coupon for a free consultation to a brow. Uh, you get little cards from... From the toothpaste company and then you get a little card that you can send to somebody but it has a little nice picture of it here so you get a little bit of a coupons let me set these aside here and then i i did mention the uh 20 off with the um t3 set this aside here and then the last thing was from byredo and this company, I was not familiar. I don't know how I'm not familiar with this company, how I did not know about this earlier. But there was a nice envelope with the coupon for a 50 uh, mil of one of their perfumes. So this is very exciting. I'm looking forward to this. I'm very excited. So I, I want to get this and I'll get a review on this perfume uh, once I pick the one that I like. So... I will revert back. So just to give you an overall feel about this, uh, how did I like it? Did I not like it? So my feeling when we came in, just an overall um, breakdown of that day. So the class was supposed to be from one to six. Uh, oh, let me give you the, the total. So the class is from one to six. You are promised, the ticket is $250. You are promised a goodie bag that's worth over the $250. So what I did is, I'm not going to show you, you'll see the chicken scratch from the far. But when I calculated this, all of this, so the 35, the 85, the 65, you can see just by two very expensive, or actually three, this, 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 just by three expensive items, this is 65, 65, 85, just by these three you can see that it already goes over the amount that you purchased the ticket for. So I calculated all of this and the physical items came out to $447.90. I looked each and every single one of them up. And then with this perfume, with this, sorry, got caught on the, on the camera. Stop the camera. Okay. Uh, with this perfume, this the 50 uh, mil is costing you another $175. So... Without this coupon, the whole thing right here is $447.90. With the coupon, if you go and you actually get this, it's going to cost $622.90, which is really awesome. I did not expect it. Um, 
but it's really nice, really awesome. And if you get to use these items, even better. So uh, my, my overall experience, let me tell you. Uh, the class the class was supposed to be from one to six, and I'll talk about that brochure right there. Um, the class was supposed to be from one to six. We came to the studio. It was supposed to be at Milk Studios. We came to the studio. It was a lot of people. I have to say from last year, it was at least double the people, at least double the amount of people. Uh, so if let's say they had maybe 30, 40 people last time, they had at least 70, 80 people this time. Um, you get a little breakdown of the um, program. Uh, inside, they tell you what is in there. I have to say the lines were a little bit chaotic. They did not want to keep the people outside, maybe because of the weather, maybe because the the building asked them to not have anybody outside. So what they did is they, they tried to squeeze us in, in the lobby of the first floor. But because it was too early, they were trying to squeeze us in, squeeze us in. And they did a, a double line. And what I did not appreciate is I was in the beginning, so that was fine. But what I did not appreciate is when they took the double line people who were supposed to be all the way in the back, when they started checking their names and letting people on the elevators, they would have two lines coming in. So the first line that was actually waiting there longer, and then the people that double lines because they did not want to have them on the street, instead of holding them back and waiting for the first line to go through, they allowed them in as well. The reason why I say this, it did not really matter to me. And again, I was in the front, but when the people that were supposed to be all the way in the back when they went into the elevator, if you're one of those people that wants a nice, good seat in the back, uh, you did not, you might have not missed out. You might have missed out on it. Um, I'm going to try to cut it short because I think my video is going to cut me off in two minutes. So uh, really quick, the two, le the two real lessons were here from 2 to 2, 2.45 and the second one's from 4.45 to 5.50. A lot of it was fillers. I was not happy with that, right? So this was 45 minutes. I did not want to network. Uh, it was a, a moment for you to buy things. There were items, there were tables with things that you could have bought, um, socialize, network, right? I was with somebody, so um, I did not do any of that. But this was a filler. I felt like this was a filler. Uh, this was a filler. So the, in reality, instead of from one to six, you really getting from, um, one, from two to 45, 45 minutes, and you get another 45 minutes here. Um, which means you're only getting about two hours of the, uh, makeup tutorial. Now, I also want to say this, and I was a little bit disappointed is when he was putting makeup on Rosie, from 2 to 2.45, it was a lot of talking. It was not a lot of technique. When I went to, if you know, if you find my other video, I did a video on the Friday class with NARS and another school. Uh, I think it's Makeup School New York City uh, with partnership with NARS. They did a really nice technique. They explained everything. They went in everything. They, they were so detailed. For example, they talked about how you have to take care of the skin, right? They took time for the skin as well. They took a lot of time, but they did not explain why. Um, for example, if they had on the NARS video, they were able to um, tell you how to 